here in Milwaukee. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Mets and the Milwaukee Brewers. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home. Here's Brandon Nimmo. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Marte on at first. Nobody out. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. So digging in, Nicholas the dude. That Obviously a guy who makes good contact, game. hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. and a miss and that one missed by a ton maybe a two ball five four three and they turn the double play as a former player watching five four three double plays brings back some adrenaline it's such an exciting play and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport Here in Milwaukee, new inning getting started. Here's the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Get a good one, get a good rip on it, huh? The line of the pitch. Bounce to the right. One up, one down. The bat, bat number six. six. Designated hitter. hitter. Star Lane. Three. 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 Bottom of the fourth. Up now for Milwaukee. Nicholas Dedu. Nicholas. The pitch. That's the third. Sends it across the first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The center field, number 25. By Reyes. Now it's Jansen in. Number nine, Danny Jensen. Have a rip like you can. Here we go now, huh? Come on, give us something to work with here. Hey, get on for us here. Nobody out. Runner at first. Two, Grounder two, two, might two. be two. One at second. On to first double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pull them at all. Three. Out. Out. Three. Ball four, take the break. Ball four, take the break. Three. Get us back in the Two outs, bases now, loaded. Now, now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. Laureano.
on the ground. Tosses to first, and Laureano is retired. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. Gets the Mets three, and the Brewers one. Now that yeah. no, this guy's game. definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Trying to lose that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. With the tying run at the plate, you're in game one of this three-game set. In the air, foul off first. Velasquez drifts towards it. And there are two outs. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end. Next for the Brewers, Nicholas Dedu. He's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage. Uh oh, that got him. And the potential winning run is aboard. Tyler McGill gets handed the rock out of the pen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Number 38, Tyler McGill. Here's Byron Buxton. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Back. Pick off loop to first. No, the dude back on a dive. Runner on the goal. Pitch is low. Save. Mm -hmm. well, it's just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared, got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. Right-handed reliever. There's a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. With the go-ahead run standing at second, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Check on the runner. The dude dives back in safely. Man at second. And a count one and two. <laughs> Slider misses outside. <laughs> Got him swinging. Big strike out there as he works to strand that yeah, yeah, run yeah, at second yeah. base. But yeah, yeah. job's not done yet. Got to get that last yeah, yeah, yeah. out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. And now it's William Contreras. One for three. First pitch misses. Pitchers always face a dilemma trying to figure out how to attack this guy. He went with the breaking ball right there, but it feels like that approach might be playing with fire. He loves to go after pitches with the wrinkle in it. At the belt and fires. And another ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And that one is lifted in the air. That is the inning. But they score twice and even it up late through eight full. All tied up at three apiece. Three are 
final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Second, no problem. Should be a pass ball, and that takes away the double play. An unfortunate pass ball right there. One he's not going to be happy about behind the plate. And with the runner advancing to second, that double play is off the table right now. So we'll see if that comes back to bite him. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And here it comes. With the chase that time. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Swing and a miss. Full count down. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Man at second. In the air, right center. This is matched. Way back. And gone. That one felt good. Home run number 55 of the year. And they add a pair. It's 2-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the power to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow through the ball. Ronnie Mauricio now. But doesn't matter with how good these offenses are. There's a lot of ball game left. Hey, what time? Right now. Roll to short. Possible two ball. Adamas over to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Brewers four and the Mets nothing. off pitches oh. low Bro, save that's a stolen base clearly not content with the lead they're working with right now and i like that i don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead in today's game and now they've got a good chance of adding on 
Runner at second, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Down, 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 Around down. third. He scores. It's six nothing. Round second, digging for third. The throw to third, and he's out trying for three. They limit the damage here. They put two on the board on two hits, including the homer. No errors, and no one left on. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Brewers six, and the Mets nothing. Out. You're out. Three. Three. Ball four. Take the ball. So two away with nobody on. Patrick Wisdom up now for the Mets. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Two outs. And that one ripped into right. Benson brings it in, and that is that. Nothing doing for the Mets. Still up against a six-nothing deficit. Full four, take the base. Three. The batter, number two, second baseman, Nicholas. Not two. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the cow so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Here comes a pitch. I got one ball, one strike. Runners at first and second with one gone. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and... Can't field it cleanly. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And they end up with two in scoring position after the out at first base. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from him a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. here at American Family Field. All set for the top of the sixth. And now the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Your pitch right here, kid. Let's go. The pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Sends it to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Three. Three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. Up now for Milwaukee, Nicholas the Dude. Koa back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Brewers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say their chase rate, or swings at pitches outside the zone, is under 25%, and I think it's a big reason why they're scoring runs. That one ripped. Way back there. His 56th home run of the season. It's 7-0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. When you 
see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average. Stepping in for New York, Tyrone Taylor. Kicks and deals. On the ground, the third might be two. On a second, they get one. Oh, a double play to end it. The dude was outstanding in this ball game, helping them get the win. Cracked a pair of homers. Such a tremendous effort at the dish. Not every game is going to be like this one, so you need to enjoy it when it's happening. Here's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. Chris, the he's definitely going to finish the year with a new career high in homers. We just don't know how many he's going to hit quite yet. Manaya, 33 years old, a former first round pick back in 2013. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And there are two down. Batting four. The center fielder. By right. Buck out. Three. Three. First and third, two away. Danny Jansen to hit here. Got a throwback. No batting gloves. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. First offering, runner goes. Strike in there. Wide throw, and it gets away. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Roll home, not in time. The run scores. On the board first, it's one zip. So two outs with runners on the corners. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Mets. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late. But a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. Hey, your pitch. Drive it deep. Huh? Here you go. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Go to second, out there, and the inning is over. Well, try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Throws to first, and that'll do it. Gone in order are the Brewers. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Ow. You're out. Ow. 
Ball four, take the rain. Three, now, three. Ball four, take the rain. Stepping in the long ball threat, Patrick Wisdom. Patrick. Wisdom. The short could be two. Adamas. Good feed. That's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, an aggressive slide at second base, but it was legal. I like it because you're trying to break up the double play, and it looked like the slide impacted the throw a little bit. Nice job by the base runner. Runner at first with two away. So up next for New York, Danny Jansen. Come on, big guy. Come on, buddy. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go. Loriano on the move. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Three, three, three. Back here in Milwaukee, bottom of the six. Here's some real power at the plate. Nicholas the Dude. Manaya back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Brewers looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. The line and the pitch. And that one almost hit him. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Out to short, Lindor. Tosses across the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The center fielder, number 25. Byron. Byron. Three. The second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. The pitch. And there's a ball. Not even close there. And now 2-0. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. 2-0. And a good eye there. Right down the shoot, strike one. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. Righty to the plate. Hammered on the line to the left, base hit. Now make the turn, pick up the ball. Hey, that ball is hard. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's Byron Buxton. A strikeout and a walk. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. No throw. He's in there safely. Easy swipe a second right there with no throw down. It looks like they're very focused on this hitter at the plate. I'm not sure if that'll be a defensive indifference or a stolen base, but here's a chance to drive in a run. The dude stands at second with no outs. Let's 
Rudder goes again. Foul ball. Rudder goes again. Oh, ball outside. One ball, no right. throw. Yeah. Save the third. It's a stolen base. Let's go right here. One and two here. Just nope, missed. It's a good take. A punch out there. One away. Oh, big power guy right there and generating yeah, so man. much bat speed. It's Look, hard hit. to bring that to yeah. a halt once you've committed. Yeah. They tried yeah. to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Contreras in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The Mets up big in this one here in the third and final game of the series. Next offering is in for a strike. With a runner at third, this is who they want at the plate. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. And the right hander deals. Ball and two. another ball. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One away with a runner at third. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Just missed. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Payoff pitch. Got him. And there's two down. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. The bat, Willie Adamas the stands in. He's already Willie. homered here in this oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. All right, here we go. Hit hard. That gets through. In to score is the runner from third. It's 10 3. Waste no time there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. First and second one out. Next for Milwaukee, Nicholas the Dude. First pitch, not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Okay, Runners at first and second with one gone here in the last half of inning number nine. Hey, your pitch. Try to keep and now the going. lefty to the right side. Knocks it down. Gets it there in time, though. He keeps his composure, and they get the out. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diving when you got the first baseman involved in the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Offensive explosion today for these players. They gave up a few runs, but they had more than enough firepower to turn this one into a blowout. The final line score for, for this afternoon's ball game.